Hi, I'm Paul Nan, a retired professor of electrical engineering at the University of New Hampshire, and I write books for Princeton University Press. I generally write the areas of physics, mathematics, and computer science. Since 1998, I've written eight books for Princeton. From time to time, people ask me how I've managed to write eight technical books in 12 years, and I tell them that it's actually quite easy. I just follow a lesson I learned while I was an undergraduate at Stanford University and a story told about Fred Terman, who was Dean of the School of Engineering, a professor of electrical engineering, the author of a large number of influential books on electrical engineering, and in fact one of the guiding spirits behind the formation of Silicon Valley in California. Professor Terman said that he just wrote a page a day one page every day, no times out for the weekends or holidays. And at the end of every year, he had a 365 page book. Years later, I heard the same story from a friend of mine here at the university, the late Don Murray, who was a professor of English and Pulitzer Prize winner and a writing coach for the Boston Globe. So uh, I figured that Don knew what he was talking about. And he loved to quote the Roman poet Horace, first uh, century BC uh, poet, who would, who would say, every day, or not a day without a line, and I've tried to follow that. My first book for Princeton in 1998 is an imaginary tale, the story of the square root of minus one, and uh, this actually is uh, the best book that I've written in terms of sales. I think I've written some good books since then, but this one sold almost 50,000 copies in hardcover and in paperback, and has recently this year been brought out as a, a paperback edition in the Princeton Science Library. Uh, the motivation for this book was uh, my fascination with taking the square root of just about any number since about eighth grade, and particularly negative numbers, and then later on in college when I was introduced to complex function theory. The second book I want to tell you about is this one, Dr. Euler's Fabulous Formula, where the fabulous formula is e to the i pi plus 1 equals 0, where i is the square root of minus 1. This, in fact, is the sequel to an imaginary tale. When I started writing this book, I had the title immediately in mind, Dr. Euler's Fabulous Formula. But one of the things that I like to do with the press is to at least make a suggestion to them as to the cover art. Uh, I didn't have any idea on the cover art. When my wife Pat asked me about it, I told her the title, and she said, Boy, that sounds like just something like a 19th century medicine man quack would be selling at a county fair. That immediately gave us the idea of the bottle, the medicine bottle, which is in this beautiful cobalt blue, and the uh, subtitle, Cures Many Mathematical Ills, combined with a beautiful red background with the fabulous formula floating in the middle of it. The last book uh, that I want to tell you about is Mrs. Perkins' Electric Quilt. Uh, this book is an eclectic mix of problems in mathematical physics, uh, problems that have fascinated me ever since uh, I first started collecting them 50 years ago when I was an undergraduate at Stanford. Uh, typically in the book I treat problems like what's the pressure at the center of the earth, um, what kind of a flight path would an airplane, a supersonic airplane have to fly so that its sonic boom reaches the, uh, at the same instant of time at a given point. So if you stood there you'd hear a really big boom. Uh, or a mathematical problem from which the book gets its title, which is how do you make a square quilt out of a lot of subsquares, no two subsquares being the same. When uh, I told my wife about that, that was going to be the title of the book, she said, well, I'll make you one. And I'll make you a Mrs. Perkins quilt. It's called an electric quilt because there's an electrical analogy with which you can study and analyze the quilt. And that's the quilt that's on the front cover of the book. Uh, we sent this to Princeton and they FedExed, uh, we FedExed it to them and they did a photo shoot at the press of this quilt, a Mrs. Perkins electric quilt. <laughs> and there's the quilter. 